I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to Jump Cut. Now, many of us have had experience with street level video editing programs such as iMovie and Windows Movie Maker. And Jump Cut is similar to those programs in most respects, with one major difference, and that is that Jump Cut runs entirely in your web browser. Let's have a look at how it works. Anybody can browse the Jump Cut site by going to www jumpcut.com. Jump Cut is operated by Yahoo, so to use the editor, all you need is a Yahoo account. If you already have one, you'll be prompted to sign in and you can start working right away. If you don't have one, it only takes a few minutes to sign up, after which you are ready to roll. Now, Jump Cut is designed to enable you to upload your own clips, that is, video audio or still images to make movies but you can also choose from a plethora of media uploaded by other users. You can even add to or adapt completed movies that other people have made. This notion of users opening up their content to other users is kind of what Jump Cut is all about. This whole notion of the mashup, that is combining and remixing media from different places and creating something new from it. Now having said that, of course, you can make everything you do on Jump Cut private so that only you or select other users have access to your media. So here I am on the Jump Cut site and I'm all signed in here and when you sign in uh, you're taken to your little area, your little home page. Now I've got some photos uploaded as you see here and I've got some options I can click on up here. I'm just going to go to make movie and again I can use a wizard. There's a couple of things I could do. I'm just going to go right to open the editor and momentarily the jump cut editor opens as you see happening right here. Now similar to just about any other video editing program out there, jump cut is a time-based editor and as you see right here is I'm mousing over drag and drop thumbnails here this is where we're going to start creating our movie now let's go up to your media I've got some photographs I've uploaded here and I'm going to go with my winter set and to start assembling a timeline as you see all I need to do is just start dragging and dropping just going to grab some pictures in no particular order. Now notice if I needed to upload additional footage I could do that right here. I can also search all of Jump Cut um, for clips that I might use in my movie. For today I'm just going to go with the media that I have in my photographs here. We'll add one more. How about that? All right. How about some audio? I'll go to audio. I do happen to have a piece of audio here. I'm going to click add. Now, notice this glowing kind of luminescent color here. This is my timeline. Rather, it represents my timeline. I can grab this little playhead and advance through the timeline of my photos. See how I'm doing that? And above my photo timeline, I have this, you see me moving here, this orange in color, that's actually my audio. I can make it, you know, of course by default, it extends the entire length of the movie. Um, but if I wanted, I could drag these little in and out points to make it only last for, you know, part of it. Say only one of the audio on, you know, the first half. I could do that. In this case, I think I'll go ahead and make it last the duration here. Let's listen for a moment at what we have so far. And you notice the playhead advancing through the timeline as we watched. One thing I'd like to do is to put a title slide at the beginning of my movie. And in my little toolbox here, I can make one. Let's add a new title. 
and I've got various different styles I can choose from. I'm just going to go with a appear over white and I'll type winter and add. Now with jump cut the application uses your currently selected picture or image or whatever it is you have in the timeline uh, to make your title slide and this is indicated similar to our audio that we added by this little mark in and mark out point here. If I wanted a longer title slide I could extend this over multiple clips. In this case I'm just going to keep it on the one and that's how it's working there. I think I'd also like a little bit of a smoother transition between the different clips and I can go to my actions to do a little bit of editing toward this end. Apply smooth style. Apply Ken Burn style. The Ken Burn style of course being a slow zoom effect. Let's give that a try and depending on the speed of your connection uh, you may need to wait a moment for this to take effect but as you see me advancing my timeline, it looks like it's already there. It's pretty fast. Well, let's see the difference now. So, what we have is a much smoother transition than just having the pictures kind of going without the dissolves between them. Another thing to look at are the effects in Jump Cut, which are right next to the titles. And I've got a clip chosen here. And by choosing an effect, you can get a little preview of what it does. You've got various different effects you can pick from. As for me, what I think I'd like to do is just fade out. Easy enough. Let's add it and check it out. And there we are. Some final options to point out to you is we have a preview in which we could get a larger preview of our movie. Uh, we could get editing tips. We could even save it and come back to it later. Of course, if we don't want to keep what we're doing, we could exit. But let's look at the publish option. This takes us to a little publish wizard and where we can provide a title. We can add tags. I'll give it a couple there. We can even put a story behind our movie. We could say slideshow of winter scenes, perhaps. Visibility, again, this can be public or private. We can say it's not remixable by others. Of course, we can make it an open movie. We've got some different options there. We can send this to email addresses. course we could use commas and separate multiple addresses there and we can even give a little custom message. We could say my winter slideshow then publish. Momentarily our movie is published and it is out there. Well I think that about does it. Jump Cut is one of many programs that has come to be regarded as Web 2.0 and this phrase essentially connotates uh, a rapidly increasing functionality of programs that run in a web browser. Some of us in the tech community believe that we're going to see more and more of this in the coming years and may actually see a shift from the everyday computing applications you use from your hard drive to the browser-based environment.